everybody. Today I'm playing Pixel Gun, specifically a weapon review on the campaign weapon, the Army Rifle. So let's just do this on hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do farm just to kind of show you the basic stuff about the weapon. Then I'm going to go do something hard like bridge, maybe. Come on. Alright. So this weapon is extremely similar to the combat rifle. And it is actually a weapon you can get in um, deadly games, and is, in my opinion, the most powerful weapon in deadly games. Let me just go equip it here, because it's not equipped. I have the automatic peacemaker equipped right now. So here it is. While we're here, let's compare stats to the combat rifle. The combat rifle, we have Four lethality, 98 fire rate, 35 capacity, and 100 mobility. This you have five lethality, um, 98 firing rate, 40 capacity, and 100 mobility. So this weapon is actually better than the stock combat rifle. Now when you upgrade the combat rifle, it becomes better than this weapon. So that's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five. Five shots to kill a regular zombie. It's not bad. And it does actually spread out like the combat rifle, too. Let me turn my game sounds on. There we go. Now you can hear it. So, yeah. Tons like the combat rifle. I'm just... I mean, the combat rifle's an okay weapon. And, oh, yeah, this... A difference between... Is this one actually has a scope. Which is... One of the reasons it's so good in Deadly Games is because it, it's one of the only two weapons in Deadly Games that has a scope. The other being the sniper rifle. But, uh... So, yeah. So now I'm just gonna take out the boss. So, oh, found him. Got him. So that actually went really well. Now I'm gonna try, I think, in Bridge. Because this has a scope on it. Which makes it good, at, probably better for Bridge. So, and then I can actually kind of show off the scope on it a little bit. I wonder if, I think the spread still happens with the scope. So even if you're scoping at someone, it might be kind of inaccurate. Just keep that in mind, or scoping an enemy. You can't. The only time you'll actually shoot another person with this weapon is in deadly games, unless really soft decides to make it um, available to be used in flag capture, team fight, or deathmatch, which I don't see them doing really. So, as you can see, I'm missed. This actually is really accurate with the scope on it. I thought the accuracy didn't change, but maybe it does. Careful. Got the birdie. I'm gonna need to find some ammo soon. I don't really want to buy any. Oh, I will if I have to, though. As you can see, I'm already almost out. So if it doesn't have an enormous amount of ammo, but it does have a good amount, I mean, 120 ammo total, is a fair amount. I mean, it's not like a huge amount. But, I mean, this is also, in my opinion, the best weapon you're going to collect by beating campaign levels. So, yeah. Because the weapons you collect by beating campaigns really aren't that good. And this weapon, this weapon's pretty good. It's better than the combat rifle, as I've said. Which, the combat rifle, at a low level, is pretty good. At the level I'm at, up, up two can do okay, but you're better off giving something else. And I'm out again. Ammo goes quick with this thing. I 
I think I'm gonna be able to win this though. I'm doing pretty good. I should probably I'm gonna have issue beating the boss because I'm gonna run out of ammo. Oh. And I'm gonna not see that guy coming at me. And I'm gonna die. Wait, I saw ammo. I'm not gonna die. Gonna have to shoot him in the little head. But I'm not gonna die. So after this, I'm probably gonna have said all I need to say about this weapon and in the video. See, I don't want to make the video too long. Gonna get you. So, all in all, I I'd say it's a pretty good weapon. Definitely equip it if you haven't like if you're just doing campaign for the start before you actually jump into any. Definitely keep this weapon equipped because it will serve you well. As long as you find ammo. Because it will go through its ammo rather quickly. Because it's a machine gun. And it doesn't come with huge amounts. But there are certainly better weapons in the game. And there's a guy in here. How do I know if all these guys get in here? And plus amount of ammo. Let's see if I can find some. There's only eight enemies and a boss left. Well, I'm gonna buy three ammo just to see what its cap ammo is. Alright, this thing caps out at 200 reserve ammo. So keep that in mind. Now this will cap out at 200 reserve ammo. In case you didn't know, all weapons do actually have a point at which they cap for maximum ammo. And this one's, as I just demonstrated, is in fact 200. Which is pretty good. I know, I know some weapons that aren't as good. I know some weapons that are much better too. Like, I was really surprised. The automatic peacemaker, as you saw me have in my hand earlier, actually caps out at 350. Reserve. Which is pretty good. I've seen weapons that aren't good. Like, for example, the heavy machine gun, which is another weapon you can get, and probably one I'll review eventually. Its cap is 100 reserve. Which isn't as good. So, overall, overall, this is a really good weapon. Well, for campaign. So overall, like, if you were to hack the game and get this thing into deathmatch. It wouldn't do that good, really. Let's kill the boss from out here. And we'll be good. Good thing he's quiet. Where is he? He did not fall off here. Gotta find this boss. I know exactly what he looks like. I've beat him before. I just can't find him. Oh, found him. <gasps> How did you get up here? I did not think he would get up there. So I think I'm gonna run out of ammo before I kill him. Did he get down? Yeah, he's coming at me. This bridge boss is really hard. Obviously, I mean, you're pretty far in the game if you're doing bridge. He's not going to die. Got him. And, okay, bridge is actually the level where you collect the armed rifle at, so. You won't be able to kill him with that. We got one star there. That's not very good. But I was using only one weapon. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you have enjoyed.